Alex RC Freak here coming at you with a video of the first run of my TRX 6x6. Now, the transmission gave me a number last night, but we got it figured out, so I bench test this good. It's running a uh, Castle Creations 3800 kV motor setup in it, um, sensor, of course. Uh, I just swapped it with one of my other rigs, so um, yeah, it's, it's six wheel drive. As you can tell, it's working, thank God. Um, I got the Drake brake at 35% custom on the uh, castle link so um, you, on these two you have to reverse the motor re rotation just in case you guys ever put one on you have to reverse it on the speed control you can't reverse the, po the positive and negative because the speed control won't work it'll confuse the circuit board on the speed control just so you guys know i'm running 11.1 .1 volt 50c 100c burst uh, power hobby lipo battery i got one extra one for whoever needs it i don't think, i know i'm probably not going to need it but let's get going. And this is what the diff's unlocked. And I'll let you know when I switch it to lock, just so you guys know. You guys can really see what it can do unlocked and unlocked. Sorry, guys, there's a gun range behind us. In case you're wondering what all that noise is. And a plane. Right there, I might have an issue. This is unlocked right now. No lock. I'll let you know if I lock front or all. There you go. That was completely unlocked. It's just about angle. That's what she said. Now these are stock tires, so completely unlocked. I'm completely unlocked. I, God dang, it's actually doing it. Kind of shocked. So I'm gonna lock it. Front diff, the front diff is locked. I'm gonna lock the rear diff. Look at that, it's taking it out. And just so you know, I'm in high gear, not low gear. I just want to make that clear. These tires ain't the best, they ain't the worst either. I'll say that much. scary part is when you have a brand new fresh body and you possibly do what I normally do and roll down the cliff about 20 feet. So I'm just gonna stop it right here, pause it. Alright guys, this is Poison RC. I'm um, Alex RC Freaks uh, film crew here. And so basically, we've came out with the little route we're gonna do. So we're gonna take a 6x6 six six, and we're gonna go up this little thing, around the rock, come back down, Dips are probably going to have to be locked. Come across, go down. There's a little incline right there. Does it look like an incline? We're going to go up through these rocks, around the tree, and out. So anyway, go ahead. So this is completely locked. I'm going to shift it into low gear. Now, one, one thing I always recommend with the, any of the T-Rex 4s, when you shift it into low gear or the transmission, be at a complete stop, then very easily give it gas. So you can... Give it a second to engage because the gears don't always line up with it. So this is low gear. Fully locked. So there's a rock right there. Yeah, the rock was giving you crap. The dirt's giving you crap. Kind of well, it's kind of like it's like got done being moist. <laughs> yeah. So maybe not. I'm, hold on, I'm gonna try high speed. Holy crap, it's a lot more. Holy, geez, it's way more touchy than high speed. So sometimes you need that extra power. Hold on, hold on, these tires are clogging up. That's the problem. If I had my high rack on here, I don't think I'd have problems. Oh, oh there goes the body. Oh, no, <laughs> oh my. First rollover. Yeah, I'm gonna get sick.
It's a rock collar, I know, but you all, you guys know how it is. This body actually don't look bad. Well, it's not the body that looks bad. It's the price when you go to buy the new one. How much is the new one? I don't know. I don't. I don't. It's gonna be over hundred bucks. I think it's like one twenty. Yeah, I can. I can believe that. are expensive. That's almost just as much as a uh, Super Baja Ray. Yeah, that hill is a little bit hard. There you go. Anyway, I lost you guys for a sec. Yeah, sorry about that. We're trying to keep the cartwheel down. We almost there. had it. Yeah, we almost had a cartwheel about so, 30 plus feet down the, yeah, no the joke, so. almost all the way down there. Yeah. Okay, so guys, when we're at Beacon Hill in Spokane, Washington, this is uh, where most of the crawlers guys go. They actually have tournaments here. So uh, anyway, sorry about that. So back to the so crawling. I'm gonna walk in front of the camera over here, and we're just gonna. I'm gonna go down around this way because obviously for these tires, the stock tires, they do not grip very well with this kind of at least area right here. So um, if I had my high racks, I guarantee you I probably wouldn't have a problem. And I do not have any brass weight on this thing. This is completely unbrassed out. I wish I did because I know I'd be doing a lot better. Than that. So. We're gonna go right. Ooh. There we go. I might have to help it out a little bit here. Gave it a little hairy. I had some grass. Good way to clean out your tire tread. Now you got yourself in a predicament. What? That'd be a sick picture of this thing. We'll take a picture. With mine. Sorry guys, we're a video and a picture taken at the same time. Two different phones here, obviously. Alright, coming back at you. Now we've got done for a little photo shoot. My God, we're in a predicament. Sorry, there's a loud airplane behind us. If you guys ain't here, there's an airport, little private airport right behind us. So that's the only issue of this calling course. If you want to videotape, yeah. She's gonna fall. She's gonna fall. The stock tires on these are not the greatest. They're really not. Good but they're. Yeah, they're not, you know, they're not the worst either. So. Oh, there Yeah, I tried looking up the price on the body. I didn't see one, but I did see it a long time ago about their 120 around that range. I can believe that. They're, I mean, they're good looking bodies. Well, they're, they're super cool. realistic, so that's why you're getting a price. True, plus it's a nice time to see. Yeah, these tires kind of suck. This is literally, if I had high racks on this locker, I wouldn't have problems. That's a fact right there. So let's well, see and then we, all the features in the body, too, all the lights. This is locked and high. I'm going to switch it to low. This is literally low here, right here. So the one thing I've noticed with the 6x6, six six, now check this out. So, Notice how when I went up this rock, how it got caught on this tire and it kind of shifted over when you're giving it gas, kind of rotated the truck over and went. So just know that it seems to when it, the tires grip on a rock like this, they kind of the middle axle, the center axle here, it kind of rotates the truck sometimes. It kind of kicks the ass end out. So just know that. Hold on. So path number two, guys. We're gonna go ahead and try it. RC's right there, we're gonna go up. And we're gonna go around right here. There's a little turn right there. We're gonna come up right where that rock is. We're gonna go around the rock and then come straight down without hopefully not cartwheeling it down that hill right there. 
Go ahead and give it a roll. So this is in low gear, fully locked, front and rear differentials. Creeping the gas, this is 3,800 kV. I'm not even hardly pressing the gas. I know you guys are like, oh, it's kind of easy, but I don't have the suspension dial. This is stock out of the box shock oil, which I usually, oh my God. These tires really aren't doing, they aren't doing me any favors. I really, oh my God. <laughs> you almost front flipped it. You know, nothing worse than cartwheeling than front flip the head and nose down there. Thanks for watching guys, Alex RC Freak out, peace.